Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. So we have the CMMI uh, staged representation and there are five maturity levels over here. Initial, managed, defined, quantitatively managed and then the optimizing. Level one, level one, two, three, four and five. So level one, this is the initial. So processes are unpredictable. These are poorly controlled and reactive. Okay. We say that, uh, you know, we are at level one. I mean, our organization is at level one. If the processes are unpredictable, means I do not know what to do next. Okay. If I do not have the control over the process, means something happens, you know, and I'm unable to figure out what has happened and how could I improve it or how I have to correct it. I do not know that. Reactive means even a small issue can give rise to a bigger problem. So we call that it is reactive. Okay. What is reactive? Even a small issue can give a rise to a bigger problems if it is not handled at the right time. Then we have the level 2. Level 2 means the processes are planned, documented, performed, monitored and controlled at the project level. But these are also often reactive. So you can see that we are following the standards but they are only limited to the project. Okay. So you can see here, we have the processes, okay, everything is planned, we are doing the documentation, monitoring is also done, controlling is done, but it is only at the project level. Means we have one organization over here, lot of projects will be going on. Each project is doing the planning and everything, but it is limited to only one project, okay. This project has its own plan, this project has its own plan, okay, own type of documentation, own uh, different types of tools, okay. There is a control within the project, but when there is a management which is, you know, the head of this entire organization, they do not have the control over these projects. Because each project is different, okay, each project is following the different plan, different process. So though there is control within the project, but all these projects are not still under the control of organization. Then we say that we are at manage stage. In case there is any project, I mean any problem in the project, if they are able to handle it, it's fine, okay? Otherwise, the company will feel it very difficult to handle over there, okay? They need to depend on this project manager to handle all the things over here. If the project manager is like, you know, not efficient, then the entire project is going to break down. So here the management is not having the control, but it is taken care by the individual project manager in the project. And that is why we say that it is reactive. In case the uh, project manager is unable to handle the issue, it becomes, you know, like out of control over there. Then we have the level three, which is defined. Here, the tools and standards are followed at the organization level. Okay, means this all the projects which are being done in this organization, they are following, I mean they are making use of the same kind of tools, whether it is testing or development, 
the same activities, the same sequence, same standard, same procedures, everything is going to be common in all these projects. And in that case, the management which is going to, you know, be the head of this entire organization and all the projects, they will be having the complete control over all the projects. So then we say that it has achieved the level 3. Then we have the level 4 which is quantitatively managed means we should be able to use the statistical and the quantitative techniques over here. For example, okay, if I am asked when am I going to teach quality center in this session, I can give, you know, approximate, um, I mean more accurate date I can say. Let's say I give, you know, like I am going to start it from 27th. At most it might get delayed by a day but not more than that, okay. So we can be accurate over here. If you ask me, okay, what is the last date for the completion? Yes, we have a date for that. Means everything is well organized over here. I can quantitatively define. And if you consider, you know, in the software perspective, if I have to tell, if the client asks you, okay, how many defects have you fixed? Or what is the current status of the testing process? I can say, you know, we have uh, completed the testing process exactly by 70%. Remaining 30% will be completed in a month. So do you see I am defining here numerically everything. I am not saying like you know okay we have done like you know pretty much good with it and we will be completing it very shortly. I am not using this kind of qualitative words. I am being quantitative over here. How many defects are fixed? 70% defects we have fixed remaining 30% are remaining which we are going to do in next two weeks. So this kind of accuracy is important when it comes to the project. You should be able to do everything quantitatively, define the numbers. Then the last stage is the optimizing. Now it's not that we reach at the level 4 and then we seem okay, everything is under our control, everything is so well defined, quantitative. This is not the end, okay. We should keep on continuously improving ourselves. It's not that you finish the QA in this batch and you know you think that okay next 10 years I will have no problem I'm going to manage with the same QA knowledge. No. You should keep on upgrading your knowledge and your practice and your experience every day every week you should be you know upgrading your knowledge. It's not that you learn the QA today and you will be implementing it throughout your life. No. When you will go to your project you will be having the experience from where you will be learning and again you should explore more, you should learn more. So this should be an incremental process. It should not stop here, okay. So that should be also done in any organization. They should not just, you know, stop, okay, now we are fine, everything is correct, let it run as it is running, no. As and when the, trend, this, the trends change and as and when the technology changes, these processes will no more be in the working condition. They will become old, okay, and you know they will stop working at some day. It will not be having any of the advantage. It's like you know you want to say you have uh, you know like bought a car like 10 years back at that time that was the you know highest model that was available for you, but today again it has changed. You want to go for a newer version, right? Similarly here, every time you should be improving your self and your organization there should be the increment over here and we call then only that we are at level 5 the highest level that any company can reach a continuous improvement process should happen okay yes Jyoti the different organization will be having the different CMM levels okay then the last one is the six sigma that we have Okay, so what is the six sigma? What is the sigma? Anybody knows what is sigma and why we have given the sigma over here? See, sigma is one of the Greek letter. Have you come across this? This letter? Yes. And um, anybody who has done this, uh, this one? Um, what? Statistics, anybody who knows the statistics and why exactly the symbol is used? Do you remember? Yes? 
what is the symbol exactly for in the statistics yes twice the variance so what is it called do you remember the standard deviation yes standard deviation okay so is it not the symbol for the standard deviation yes exactly okay so here we are using the same standard deviation um, statistical technique in order to define what is the defect level in the or what is the accuracy level in the task that we are doing what is the accuracy level in our processes so that is defined using this standard deviation technique okay how do we define that if let's say this is the accuracy level that we are supposed to meet okay and we might deviate from here let's say some 2.5 over here and then 2.5 over here okay we might deviate so this much is acceptable so how much we are deviating here 2.5 and 2.5 this is acceptable so the more and more the deviation goes like this okay the more and more we have the deviation then the level is falling over here so the one that is nearer over here we say that it is having the highest accuracy is it clear everybody so if i say that this is my accuracy point okay this is my accuracy then as much as i am near to this it means that i am at the highest level of the sigma we have levels okay 6 5 Four, three, two, one. If I am nearer, it is the highest level over here. If I am far from this accuracy, this is my accuracy. Okay. If I have to tell you in the common terminology, this is the accuracy. If I am away from this accuracy point, then I'll be at this level. Okay. We should make sure that whatever development we are doing, it should be nearest to the accuracy. There should be less number of defects. Okay. so lesser the number of defects higher level of the sigma you will be having higher level of the deviation okay okay so you can see here six sigma seeks to improve the quality of the process output by identifying and removing the causes of the defects we should be able to remove the errors um there are some people okay who can also apply for this black belt and green belt six sigma okay um usually in the statistics okay i mean the statisticians they go for this six sigma black belt and green belt and some quality managers they want they can go for the six sigma green belt and black belt these are the certification that we have okay yes pavni uh, what do you want me to repeat exactly okay if we have less number of mistakes means we are at the higher level of sigma the deviation will be uh, you know less here from the accuracy okay it is for the organization sangeeta it is for the organization but to implement that we need the professionals over there and those professionals should be having the six sigma certification we have the different levels green belt black belt we have a different levels of certification which they have to get okay then let's understand the six sigma so this table will make very clear what is the meaning of the six sigma okay so we have the level 6 here 6 is the highest level okay do you see the percentage good and then percentage bad you can understand more clearly if we take an example of a manufacturing industry if we are manufacturing 1 million products okay if we are manufacturing okay let me write it here if we are manufacturing oh did it get disconnected okay i'll use this one from the go to so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website 
h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.